Hello, all. Welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to Code Signal, we're working on Python coding exercises. If you're joining this in the middle of a playlist, I'll put a link in the description below so you can start from the beginning if you wish. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to the arcade, and then I'm going to Python here. Okay, and then we will go to this section, Caravan and Collections, and then we left off here on the doodled password, number 46. So your friend has been doodling during the lecture and wrote down several digits in a circle. You're wondering if these digits might form the password to your friend's computer. You're planning to prank him sometime in the future and hack into his computer. Hacking into his computer will definitely help. The digits written in a clockwise order indeed form a password. All you need to do is figure out which digit comes in it first. Given a list of digits as they are written in the clockwise order, find all other combinations a password could possibly have. All right, so here's the example. The digits that he wrote down are one through five. Um, so he wrote them down in a circle here, and it's possible that it might start with two or three or four or five. So all the different combinations that it could be is the original list, and then starting with two, going to five, and then wrapping back around to one, starting with three, etc. All right, so how would you code that up? Um, so if you look at their code, you can see they give you a hint that something in the collections uh, package will be of use. In this case, we're going to use DQ, which is, is a double-ended queue. So you can add items either to the front or the back of the queue. And then they define this doodle password, and it, it accepts an argument called digits. All right, and then we assign a variable n, and we equal it to the length of digits. So in this case it would be five uh, for this example because there's five items in the list. And then we're going to assign a variable res to a list comprehension here where we're going to take the DQ and we're going to create it uh, equal to the length of whatever uh, our list is. In this case it's five. So we're going to create five duplicates of this list so at this point in the code, this res is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This repeated uh, five times within that. All right, and then they do this dq function, and they're going to use the map function. Uh, so what the map function does is you feed into it some iterator object. It could be a list or a string or something. And for each element in that iterator, uh, it'll apply your first argument, which is a function, to each item of that in the second argument, which is whatever you put in the in there to iterate over. All right. So what this is going to do um, is you feed into this the enumerate function of res. which enumerate does is it takes the value and the index of anything you feed into it. So in this case, you're going to have a zero and then this list, and then a one, and remember these are all copies of the same, so one and then this list, two, etc. And what this lambda function is going to do, it's going to take that the value, uh, so this list here, and it's going to rotate it by uh, whatever the index is. Um, and it's going to do that in the negative direction. So you can see that's how we're going to form what we have here. So this one's going to be rotated 0, so it's going to stay the same. This is going to be rotated negative 1, so this 1 is going to go to the end of the list. This one's going to be rotated negative 2, so the 1, 2 are going to go to the end of the list, etc. And then we're just going to return that. Um, so these are, D currently they'd be DQ objects, so we're going to convert those into list objects with the list function. And then we're just going to do that for all the items in res. All right. So if we run that, we can see that that indeed gave us what we were looking for. Uh, hopefully you guys are able to follow along with that, and you'll join me for future videos. Thank you very much.